Hello and thanks for joining us during Electricity Safety Week for a special series where we talk about the importance of electricity and how to stay safe around it. I work for a company called Endeavour Energy. We look after the power poles and electrical equipment in your neighbourhood. You might have seen these along some of your streets. We call this a kiosk and no, before you ask, you can't eat there. These are very important because they help us transform electricity so it can be easily used in your home. So do substations and these little pillar boxes. Now we all know that electricity is a really important part of our lives. It provides the power we need for appliances in our homes that heat, cool, entertain and cook for us. You might even be using it right now to watch this video on the computer. Let's spend a few minutes writing down five things that you've used this week that require electricity. I'll give you some clues. Okay, I think that should have been enough time. My five things were TV, toaster, iPad charger, lamp and coffee machine. I'm sure you all found many different ones, but from that little activity, we can see that electricity is all around us. That's why it's important to know how to be safe around electricity. Sometimes it can be dangerous if we're exposed to it in ways we're not meant to be. In my job, we have to wear protective clothing and use very special equipment before we can even go near electricity. Otherwise, we could be seriously injured. I'll show you some examples. This hard hat provides protection from falling objects and also from live electrical equipment. And it looks kind of cool, don't you think? These safety glasses protect my eyes. After all, who'd like to lose their sight? Steel cap safety boots provide protection for my feet. These special insulating gloves protect me from live electricity when I'm handling our electrical equipment. Now, spend a few minutes drawing a picture of an Endeavour Energy worker wearing all of this special equipment. Once you've finished, I'll show you a picture of me at work.
So now you can see why it's important to leave it to the experts and stay safe. You need to take special care when you play outside. Make sure you play in open spaces, away from electricity poles, towers and power lines. Here are some of my top tips. Always look up before you climb a tree. Fly a kite away from overhead power lines. If it gets caught in the power line, live electricity could travel down the string and seriously hurt you. Stay indoors during an electrical storm. It's important not to swim in pools, rivers or at the beach during an electrical storm. Stay away from fallen power lines. They're very dangerous. Stay at least eight metres away from any fallen power line and anything it might touch. And most importantly, tell an adult and call triple zero. Do you know how far eight metres is? I'll give you a few examples so you can remember. A big bus or the height of two giraffes. <laughs> We also need to make sure we never play on or near electrical equipment. Electrical equipment and electricity substations are everywhere you look. They're behind fences, in buildings, or on the side of the footpath. And most of them have danger signs on them. Substations reduce the voltage of electricity from power stations, so it can be distributed to homes, schools, and businesses. Sometimes they're near parks and play areas, so you need to be careful and follow the rules. It can be tempting to ignore signs and fences around substations, but remember the warnings are there for everybody's protection. Now I have a question for you. Which of these do you think are substations? I'll give you one minute to write it down and then I'll tell you the answer. Well, if you said all of them, you'd be correct. That brings us to the end of our first session. I hope you learned a few things.